Bitch on frostbite, where the man's look like headlights. Woo. This the boss life, hey. yeah. yeah. My bitch exclusive and she bougie, yeah. <laughs> I have enough air. Because, you guys, so cold. You guys, so I put freaking. freaking tires need air you guys so frustrating okay. I'm just gonna have to do it now so yesterday I'm gonna have to do it on lunch break first of all good morning and um, as you can see how my morning is starting off I want I came last night to put air in my tire. Because it said it was low. But I couldn't see in the dark how much air that it needed the PSI or whatever. So I just put it to where the, the um, sorry. Put it to where the light will go off. So I did that and um, I came back out this morning. Let me just be clear. I really didn't put like a lot of air in it last night because for one, I had just left the gym and I didn't know how much air it needed. And then I guess that's my fault. But if it goes flat again or say any air again, then something obviously is wrong with my tire. And I'm hoping that I do not have to get a new tire because I don't have time for that right now. Just don't have time for that. But we gonna see, but I did figure out that all my all my freaking <sighs> tires actually need air in them. And that's cray cray. That's very crazy. So, uh, what a morning. Anywho, I'm trying to have a great morning. My freaking hands are ashy. I hate when my hands are ashy. Oh my God. Hands are so ashy. Jesus. I just need to regroup. I'm just like, not. Nah. All right, I'll just be back. I just got it. All right, so good morning, everyone. My beautiful queens, my lovely kings. So, what the heck, yo? It's Saturday, finally. Yeah, my car is so disgusting right now. I'm waiting on my car to warm up because I told y'all the back brief of my whole tire thing. I'm finally about to go off post and go to Walmart and get it um, looking at and hopefully looked at, looking at, looked at and hopefully they can fix it. But y'all, it is 9.44, right? My plan was to leave between 8 and 8.30. I woke up at around 6.15, 6.30 this morning or whatever, and I was taking my phone out the charger and trying to read something somebody had sent me or whatever. My whole phone was froze. I tried to do the little troubleshoot thing this and there. I couldn't call nobody. I couldn't text nobody. The only thing I could do was press down the home button and talk to Siri. I got on my computer. I started texting my sister or whatever. But um, I end up telling Siri to call my mom. My mom had to call, um, had to three-way Apple Care for me, and I was literally on the phone with Apple Care for about two and a half hours, so they could actually help me fix my fix my phone. She helped me like um, 
restart my home in like the first 10 minutes but then she was trying to help me because i was telling her i've been having problems with my phone and i paid too much for um this phone and apple products for my phone to be acting up so either we gonna fix it or i'm gonna get a new phone because it's stupid update or whatever but all is taken care of guys i'm glad i'm back in business with my phone because i would have been straining out there in the world because i couldn't do gps calls text i couldn't even swipe left swipe right i couldn't do nothing guys so i'm really really glad that that is really taken care of so i'm about to go get some air in my tire hopefully it's enough to get me to walmart 30 to 40 minutes away and I'm going to try to actually, it's so cold though, actually try to clean up my car a little bit while I'm at the gas station because I have a lot of crap in here like during the day. So I will see you guys when I get to Walmart. Hello? All right, so Walmart can't fix my tire because they said it's too close to the sidewall or something. Oh, so I don't even know what to do. They said they could have ordered us a, me a tire, but it won't be here till like Tuesday. But it'll be cheaper to fix it. And now I don't even know what to do. You can't look up nobody else. A tire plays close to you. Oh, this is just frustrating. Don't let it frustrate you. Gonna get the fix. They look at um. Should have asked them if they're in a, like a closer tire. You gonna have to travel somewhere else to the nearest the other town to a tire place because I know you can get it fixed. Mm, yeah. That shit, that's crazy. Yeah, they just said it's in their policy since it's too close or something and I'm just like, okay. Yeah. But I'm just going to have to look up and see um, what else I can see, I guess. Well, look that up and come back. Okay. Stay right there and look it up. Alright, All right, bye. Okay, bye. Hello? Uh, hello? Hi, this is Midas? Yeah. Yes, it is. Hi, I'm calling to see if you guys um repair tires that has a nail in it. Yes, we do. Okay, and do you have a certain policy? Because Walmart couldn't repair it because it was too close to the something wall or something he said. Do you guys? The sidewall, yeah, and, and that's more of a, of a, um, of a general statement. Um, and yes, we would run off the same policy. Uh, if it's too close to the shoulder, it has to be at least an inch away from the shoulder, um, because our patches work on the inside of the tire, mm -hmm. so it won't it won't sit um, if it's on a curve inside the tires. Bottom line, you know, the, the reasoning behind that. Okay, and um. Do you guys order tires or no? Yes, we do. Do you mind doing a price quote for me, please? Certainly. So, um, one tire um, installed on that, uh, including road hazard and taxes, um, you're looking at about $307 almost. Girl, please. But I ain't no like tire place close to you, like it be around here, you just pull up. Other than my the spike. I don't you know, know I gotta go over there. I gotta look up somewhere. I don't really know and then I'm by myself. So I don't these places around here in Barstow Rickadink. Like you got the this like the ghetto over here. You got to really know or take somebody with you or something. They don't have the bug for you. Say hi. Ray is here guys. Trying to get her car fixed too. And they don't have her bulb. <laughs> What was I here for at eight? And they can't even fix my tire. Huh? And they can't even fix my tire because it's too close to the wall. So I either had to get a new tire, but th I just called this guy and he told me to go. He's closed, but he told me it's another one down the street that he recommended to go to. So yeah, I'm gonna go over there really quick. For a tire? Well, I'm gonna see if they can plug my tire. It's 324 for a tire. Yeah. Bitch, I'm not about to pay that. So I'm about to go down there and see. You coming? Yeah. They might have a bulb, I don't know. You guys, I am so excited. He fixed my Amigo, fixed my tire, you guys. Them other people was like, nah, bro, they couldn't fix it, but he came through in the clutch, y'all. This is what his shop looked like, you know, just a little wrinkling, little, little like, just like a freaking garage, you know what I'm talking about? 
and he fixed my tire for only $15. But you know what? I gave him a $5 tip because I'm so excited. I asked him how long it was going to last. He said, until you get new tires. Honey, thank you. Thank you. He said it was a screw in there. So, oh, I can't see. Yeah, why would they park that ugly thing right here to block the way? All right. I'm so excited that was fixed, you guys. But um, me, Ray, Swanee, and Bow Wow are about to get food. They're actually 40 minutes over the next town called Victorville. So I'm gonna drive and then I will see you guys there. But I'm so excited my tire is fixed. I ain't gotta keep putting no air in my tire. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that. But okay. All right, you guys. Swanee is here. Hi. Patty is here. Ray, y'all are here. So they're finally here. We're so hungry. Y'all, they came they up here all the nibbling on these little crumbs or chips that we got. But y'all haven't seen 20 in a few weeks or whatever. So I'm gonna pull up some bread. I'll show y'all how I feel when we get up because I don't know what you think. I don't know why. Tell y'all how good that got a goddamn goddamn good. <laughs> <laughs> She's so stupid. Got me stuttering and shit. Wow. Well. All right, we about to go to um, Happiness. But I'm following Swanny because I don't know how to get there. Yeah, we all following Swanny. I thought we were following you, Oni. Yeah, right. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, um, GPS today. <laughs> we gotta GP take a picture of GPS. <laughs> GPS. 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 <laughs> So we made it to the um, nail salon, guys. Um, Addie, she didn't want to come in, so she stayed in the car. But my feet need some tender love and care. Because honey, they ain't seen it in a while. And at that, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go get my eyebrows cleaned up or not. I don't know. But I'm definitely gonna go home and take a nap till about 6 o'clock when we go to this party. It started at 5. We probably ain't gonna get it at 7. We probably ain't gonna get it at 7. Yeah. You know he had to say 5 because people really not gonna come to 7. Yeah. So me and Ray going to a party with Lamar. Is Lamar going? Obviously. Lamar and Sam, so y'all will see them tonight. As far as the work, right here, it doesn't Lupe. Oh, 
Fuck no. Right. You go know, Where the fuck is my pants in church? Let me get out, walk around. That was like three hours ago. That was yesterday. And then blew up, blew up, blew up. You Like you got, you got a hold on. Flick it up. Hold. You got it. There you go. Oh, you, you popped it. You popped your own thing. As soon as the motherfucker like, as soon as you flick it. I'm basically landing. Going on an adventure. Hey, bro. Hey, right outside. Everybody outside. Coming out? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just knew I'll take in, but I don't want to come to the back. Excuse me, excuse me. Mr. Williams, now I'm going to see you twice now. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, God.